Leo, hello. This is Renee and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're going to do your love reading, Leo. But we're going to do it a little differently. We're going to take a look at your energy. We're going to take a look at your personal en energy. And then we're going to take a look at this connection. And we're going to look at their their true feelings, their secret hidden feelings for you. Okay, let me know if you like the spread in the comment section. Let me know if it resonates. Okay, Leo. For you, we have turn lemons into lessons. For your person, we have write down your goals, dream big. Okay. For you, Airy, excuse me, Leo. For you, Leo, we have transformation. Wow. For your person, we have ease and grace. Okay, Leo. For you, we have expansion. Yes, transformation and expansion. I feel like you're learning from lessons. You're expanding. You're transforming. It's making you into, um, you're kind of easing into these changes. For them, we have joy. Beautiful energy. So right now, your person, I feel like they're writing down goals of, you know, what they want, how they want things to be, how they perceive things to be in their mind, you know. And I feel like they're handling it with ease and grace. And I feel like they're feeling a lot of joy about your relationship. They're very happy in this relationship right now. Okay, let's take a look at your energy. I'm going to use three different tarot decks. One for you, one for your person, and one for the outcome. Okay, what energy do we have for Leo? The four of wands. Wow, okay. Okay, we have the six of cups and the three of swords in reverse. we have the Empress. Okay, beautiful energy. At the bottom we have the Six of Pentacles. Okay, Leo. So I feel like, you know, you're very happy in this situation as well. You're you're moving past because I feel like if this is a new situation, I feel like you're coming out of a situation that was maybe long term. It was maybe a situation you were in for a long time and you were Kind of now you're kind of coming out of the heartbreak. You're coming out of the situation of feeling a lot of grief over losing someone that meant a lot to you. And I feel like you're you're becoming this empress energy. You can be male or female, but I feel like you're becoming this empress energy. Very attractive, very bold, very assertive, you know. Um very creative hmm. yeah we have the page of pentacles on the bottom so I feel like you are really wanting to communicate exactly how you feel about certain situations you kind of want to hold things dear to you you want to hold things close protect them you're feeling like in this very protective nature where you want to kind of communicate. And I feel like if this is new love that you're coming into, I feel like you want to explore this to like its full capacity. You know, you're very hopeful for this to grow into something very long, very lasting. 
for your person we have the eight of swords so I feel like there's some things holding your person back there's some kind of feelings kind of making them hesitate they're kind of second guessing themselves and they have the four of wands as well wow okay but they see a lot of happiness in this situation they see things growing and developing you know into something that can be very precious you know and we have the eight of pentacles so this person really wants to work on creating a happy home creating a happy relationship but they have reservations they have this hesitation where they're kind of holding themselves back from showing their true feelings in a way because we have the king of cups at the bottom so I feel like this person you see how the king is pouring out from this cup he's pouring out his emotions and I feel like that's what this person wants to do but they have this hesitation they have this reservation on how to do that or how you will feel about it when they do but you both have the four of wands which is very beautiful very beautiful energy so I feel like there's a lot of I feel like you make each other happy you bring each other a lot of joy you know for this connection we have the high priestess for you and the sun for them yeah so I feel like there is a lot of happiness on your side I feel like there may be a few secrets that you're kind of still holding on to you haven't really let this person see your inner side and I feel like you're trying to trust yourself enough to express exactly how you feel. So I feel like you're holding yourself back in a way as well. For you, we have the Five of Wands. For them, we have the Ten of Swords. Yeah, so I feel like, you know, you may... With the Five of Wands and the Ten of Swords, I feel like this is energy to where you argue. You argue and you say that you're going to break up with the Ten of Swords and then you turn around and make up, you know? You break up just to make up. You know, kind of like childish energy. Very kind of immature. Don't kill the messenger. That's just what I'm getting. For you, you have the Eight of Cups. For them, the Queen of Wands. So, for you, Leo, I feel like there's something that you need to let go of. There's something that you need to walk away from so that you can feel this person's true passion, true energy you know for this to really express the way that they're feeling I feel like this person is very passionate they're very giving very assertive for you you have the nine of Pentacles for them the knight of swords so this person may may move really fast where you're kind of standing still you kind of like the solitude. You like to kind of go it alone sometimes. You like, you know, you like your quiet time. And I feel like this person is very busy. Like they're always on the go. They always got, they might like to talk a lot too. They might like to express themselves. Very interesting. Okay, let's take some love cards. I feel like sometimes this person is talking and you're really not listening, Leo. What's going on with that? Let's get some love cards. For Leo, we've got Cupid's arrow. You have a lot of faith in this situation. You know that this is love, you know, and you feel like it can grow into something very special, very enduring. 
for your person, we have self-indulgent. Focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. Yeah, so I feel like this person may need to work on their confidence level. They may need to work on feeling more confident. You know, giving themselves more love. Increasing their worth, you know. For you, we have addiction. Wow, okay, what's going on with this? Oh, I get it. You're kind of blocking yourself in a way because of this past hurt. Because of this past heartbreak. So you're blocking yourself. This is you blocking yourself. And for them, we have the X. Separation, stop the pattern silent treatment so I, yeah i feel like this person hmm, they feel like you're going to give them the silent treatment if they let you know exactly how they're feeling very interesting what's blocking your happiness because i feel like you both want to be happy in the situation oh what i need to tell you will hurt your feelings they need to say something. You may not want to hear it. They feel like they need to tell you so that your bond can grow stronger. They feel like you're emotionally unavailable. They feel like they're just a friend with benefits. Wow, they feel kind of used in, in this situation, Leo. Can we move past this? These are the things this person is thinking. I'm not good enough for you. I can't figure out what you want. Wow. This person has a lot of questions. They have a lot of... They have a lot of feelings that are kind of holding back the situation, I think. Hmm. Let's get some love cards. Okay, we have sacred union. Honor and treasure your relationship for it's truly sacred. For your person, we have... If you can do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. For the heart is the gateway of the soul. Yeah, so they feel like you touched their heart in a way that they're connected to you. We have sexual union. Honor the place in one another where you and are one, one eternal soul. For there you will find true bliss. And for your person... We have freedom. There is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. Yeah, so. Very interesting. Let's see. Let's get an outcome. Spirit, what is the outcome between Leo and their person? What is the outcome? I feel like the situation goes very well until you want to communicate until you really and then I feel like the communication gets very heated you know because I, I feel like this person likes to talk and I feel like you really don't want to listen to it at the moment you kind of like your quiet time you like your solitude and I feel like this person is kind of hmm I don't know okay we have the fool for you and we have the two of wands for them. So Leo, I feel like you want this to begin again. You want a fresh start. You want to go down a different path. You're looking for a new journey. And I feel like this person is at a crossroads, but they're waiting on results. They're waiting for something to happen. They're waiting for a choice to be made. You know? For you, we have the high priestess. 
So we have the High Priestess twice on your side. So I feel like there's secrets and mysteries. But I feel like you also need to trust. You have to trust your gut feeling. You have to trust your intuition. And now we have the Five of Wands on their side. So I, I do feel like... I feel like you both want to fight for this situation. You both want to put in the work. And you both may have a very playful nature. But I feel like you're kind of competing against each other for communication. And we have the Ten of Cups. So somewhere in this situation you're going to have a resolution. But I feel like with the Four of Cups at the bottom, I feel like it's going to take time. And it's going to take putting those past thoughts behind, you know, kind of accepting the communication that you're given. You know, that's the only way that you're going to get to this Ten of Cups situation. And I feel like the, the outcome will be the Ten of Cups because I feel like you're both very happy people. You know, you just, there's some kind of conflict, some kind of competition that you're both are going to and you're kind of, it's like a power struggle. But I feel like it, it can be very minor. But you need to convey your feelings to this person and this person needs to convey their feelings to you. Yes. Okay. Okay, Leo. This is what I have for you. Uh, let me know in the comment section uh, if you like this spread. And um, if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And until the next reading, Leo, many blessings to you love and light.